All right, tech fans, happy Monday night. And what would Monday night be without more tech for you people here on Tech of Tomorrow? We're always bringing you tech. Now, what's up? Well, check it out. Just a week ago, we brought you guys a card from the people over at Sapphire. This was their new HD 7790, and this was their one gigabyte edition. Now, they released the one gigabyte edition. They went back, they reflected, and they were like, you know what? Since NVIDIA has a 2 gigabyte edition card out, we should probably come out with one as well. Now, this thing still has 896 stream processors, has 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory, 128-bit memory interface, all basically the same features as we saw in the previous card, only this one is the 2 gigabyte edition. So with that said, let's do the unboxing, quick overview, and then we'll link over to the full review afterwards. With that said, let's check out the box. All right, folks, so check it out. You got the name. You got it right here, Sapphire HD 7790. And then right over here, we move across to the nice breastuses. You can see the pair of those there, along with some weaponry and a mask, you know. So she'll come to your house, she'll get you turned on, and then she'll kill you with her M16. You guys can see two gigabytes of GDDR5. It's the overclocked version. Now, I understand that this card does come slightly clocked lower than the one gigabyte version. I don't know why that is, but we'll get into that later. HDMI, all that good stuff. You guys know about AMD and all their stuff flip it around real quick to the back of the box supports three monitors so you guys can have that iFinity display 28 nanometer architecture GDDR5 memory AMD iFinity 2.0 AMD Crossfire X PCI Express version 3.0 it's got its AMD apps you also got DirectX 11 support, HDMI support, and some HD 3D support right down there at the very bottom. So with that said, now let's see what actually comes in the box. All right, folks, so now we've got the stuff out of the box. You guys can see right here, we got the Sapphire Graphics Card Quick Installation Guide. We've also got this standard display port cable, Crossfire cable, DVI to VGA, and then we've got our Molex to six pin power connector. This is everything that would come in the bundle. And now let's actually move on to the card itself. All right, so now let's take a closer look of the card itself. Right off the bat, we can see the rear IO where we see a single DVI-I, single DVI-D, HDMI, and a standard display port. Now, what's really weird about seeing a standard display port on AMD cards, usually you see these on NVIDIA cards. You don't usually see them on AMD type cards. This card's also dual slot design. You can see a fin right here. Some of the heat is going to be pushed out of this when you have it inside your system. We also see a single fan design right there. Black all the way across. And the black card goes all the way to front and back. So if you're looking for a system that matches your mod, this will be a good card because it is black and black. The card size is in it nine inches long by four inches high by an inch and a quarter as far as the thickness of the card goes. Now, down here we see our PCIe 3.0 interface. Gonna flip it around that you guys see a close up of the back of the card where you guys can see right here, there's a, like a little heat fin right here. Now, one thing that's really cool is that this card actually has cooling fins on the memory, unlike some of the other cards. Let me flip it around to the back right now. You guys can see black on black. And it's even got the rear cover, which I really like. That way you can set the card down and everything, and you don't have problems with the card. Makes it a lot easier for testing and stuff like that. And the PCB, you can see, is completely black underneath it as well. Over here, we see the single crossfire connection. This will do a dual crossfire mode only. I'm gonna flip the card around again to its side. We're underneath here, you guys can see they have some of their VaporX type cooling in there. You can see the two copper heat pipes going there. So what basically happens is the heat from your GPU gets sucked up into heat fins, then into these pipes, and the rest of the heat gets blown out additionally through the rear of the card. Here's a single six pin power connector. You need about 140 watts, and it's congested to have at least a 450 watt or better power supply to use this card. Give you guys just a nice thin, real quick look in there so you guys can see some more of the cooling. So there you have it, the brand new, well, 
newer than new, I guess. The second version should be kind of the 2.0. That's right, the 2.0 version because it's got two gigabytes of DDR5 instead of one. This is the Sapphire HD 7790 two gigabyte edition, which has pretty decent cooling and everything. And I know a lot of you folks are going, hey, where's the review? Well, check it out. If you guys want to see the review over on our website on www.tech of tomorrow, I have the full written review with all the specs and all the rest of the stuff on the card. Unfortunately, I only had the card for about a day, so we had to test it, make the video, get the written review, and there's only only so much time that a guy has. Like usual though, if you folks like this video, make sure you hit that like button. You know, we totally appreciate that and we like your interaction. Also, if there's anybody out there looking to buy this card, look down below in the information that we have and we'll have everything in the link in the description below where you can buy the card or check out the full review. I'm Elric, thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you're not subscribed, hey, make sure you do so because we've always got great things going on on here. Tell them Tech of Tomorrow.